As Russian reinforcements poured into the breakaway province, the Georgian president said this was now an attempt to overthrow his government. There is increasing international pressure on the Russians to pull back, and the American president, George W. Bush, in Beijing for the Olympics, has spoken personally to the Russian president and to Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. The country roads around South Ossetia are now clogged with incoming troops and fleeing refugees. This woman from the capital Chinvale said, it's impossible to break us, it is impossible to defeat us because Russia is invincible. Russian aircraft, meanwhile, have attacked more targets near the Georgian capital, Tbilisi. This was a radar installation the Russians say controlled Georgian military aircraft. In Tbilisi itself, Georgians gathered in protest and the country's president insisted Russia were the aggressors. I insist that it's happening unprovoked by us and I, I think and I insist that it was all pre-planned. The Russians say Georgia is to blame for the conflict, accusing it of genocide in attacking South Ossetia last week. These Russian soldiers are moving into Abkhazia, a second separatist region which broke away from Georgia in the early 90s. Reports in Moscow say 9,000 troops are being deployed and the Georgian forces are being warned to get out. Tim Hewitt, ITV News.